Hello, welcome. This is part two of the memorization tutorial series. We're working with James Scott's Sunburst Rag. It comes out of this book here, Ragtime and Early Blues Piano. I have uh, the uh, link for you to print out if you don't have this book, with, that you can print that out and work with me on it. In part one, I explained how you get an overview first, play it through a few times, mark off difficult sections you would like to focus on, figure out your ideal tempo, although that can always change. Mine here is 72 beats per minute. <clears throat> now, we need to um, get to work and start memorizing. So, a, f a few of the things that, that uh, I would like to emphasize are, don't listen to recordings, okay? If you're in the habit of going out and buying CDs or MP3s or watching videos, uh, try to get out of that habit. You are creating your own music, okay? Uh, you aren't the person on the CD. You are your own person. Horowitz was his own person. I'm my own person. We're all different, okay? So don't get in the habit of relying on CD recordings because they're not always good. You may be able to play better than that. So don't listen to recordings, develop your own ideas, and don't write in fingerings, as I mentioned in my, in my pianistic process video. Writing in fingerings takes too much time, and we often change them anyway. We just erase them and write in other fingerings. And, you know, it's just playing mind games. So try not to write in fingerings. I highly urge you not to. It's very much easier to memorize you do not write in fingerings. And no pedal. Totally take out the pedal. No pedal until it's pretty much all memorized. Play at a softer volume. Okay, you don't have to play everything so loud. This is Mark Forte. Okay, that's probably my performance dynamic. But when I'm memorizing it, I'm playing it slower and maybe... So I'm still trying for definition, getting accents and things, but I'm just playing it softer. You know, it kind of saves your ears, saves your fingers a little bit. So don't feel you have to pound everything out when you're uh, memorizing in this stage. Also, I strongly urge you to practice about at three quarters tempo. So this is 72. Three quarters of 72 is 54. So this is approximately... Maybe even slower than that. But I think three quarters is either two thirds or three quarters is a good guide. I think half speed is a little too slow to work with. So that's a good speed to work with. So soft dynamics, don't play everything so loud. Play slower at about three quarters tempo, no pedal. Don't write in fingerings. And some of the techniques that we can use to memorize are, uh, first play looking at the music. got that. Now I'm going to try it consciously looking at my fingers. Okay, I got that. You know, piano teachers will tell you, never look at your fingers. Well, that's not true. They only mean never look at your fingers when you're reading music. Okay, if you're reading the music, you're not looking at your fingers, but if you're memorizing it, it's perfectly okay to look at your fingers. Now I'm going to try it. I'm going to look up in that corner of the room. Yeah, I got that. Now, just to confuse myself a little bit, I'm going to look up in that corner of the room. Yeah, 
got that. Now, to even stir things up more, to really challenge myself, I'm going to close my eyes. Eyes closed. Got it. Okay, so if you can do it all those ways, it's pretty sure that you have that down. Now, uh, I'm going to do that same process for maybe about every four measures. So take a four measure phrase, four measure phrase, do the same thing, then put those together, and then spend extra time on the part that, you, that I marked off here that looks difficult. Maybe spend about 10 minutes on that, then put all those together. By the time you know it, maybe in even half an hour, you will have had, you can probably play this whole section uh, at a slow tempo memorized, maybe even with your eyes closed. And then we move on, uh, if, you, if that's all you can do in one day, fine. The next day, come back and, and do the same, use the same techniques on the B section here, which by the way is easier. A section repeats, which is a good thing. Then, this is the most difficult part here. So, I am going to try this with looking at the music. That's actually a sequence. It does the same thing. Every two measures is the same thing in a different key. So now I'm going to try that with my eyes closed. So now what, what, what just happened was I forgot the chord with my eyes closed. And now I'm going to look, up, look at the music. Oh, okay, it's an A chord. Okay, now I'm going to try it again with my eyes closed. Got it. Oops, stumble. Let's see. Again with my eyes closed. Got that one. My eyes are still closed. Oh, just forgot the next chord. So I'm going to open my eyes. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to try the whole thing again with my eyes closed. Just a little concentration and you can achieve your goal in, in getting these memorized. But remember, don't play it fast, okay? You're, you're not concerned about speed. All you're concerned with is feeding the harmonies and the notes and the sounds and the rhythms into your brain. Your, your mind is a sponge and it has to slowly absorb everything. But you would be amazed at how quickly this will become memorized. And probably only in a few days, if you use this technique, you'll be able to memorize this work. I guarantee it if you do it correctly. So stay tuned uh, in this video where I uh, summarize many of these points and, and more. You can write those down if you want. And happy memorizing. Until next time. Thank you.